Good evening all, so we have come back with a very famous topic and it's a very interesting topic which is about choosing your life partners. So with our famous introduction we shall start. So uh, how do we select our partners and why do we need partners and why we are looking for partners. I remember once in my life I was very tired from life, from financial strain, from uh, social difficulties and from work pressure and a, a friend of mine came and told me find a partner. That sentence has actually affected my life dramatically and made me understand the importance of partner and how sometimes in the moments of uh, despair, you will always be looking for someone who can support you. You will always be looking for someone who can compliment you. You will always lo will be looking for someone who will motivate you. So life partners, how do we see them? How do we select them? The first thing we need to understand, what are, we need to find someone that we can trust. And the trust is a very important factor in choosing a life partner. And by trust, you need to find someone that you can predict his behavior and you can understand his motives and you can understand his feelings. The feelings towards you should be full of love and should be full of affection and should be full of interest. And he should be develop some kind of principles that are associated to keep feeding this feeling like we, uh, if we, we, uh, we tend to trust people and we tend to explain ourselves for people so they can always trust us and he always behave in a way that is, uh, uh, that, that is trustful. His motives, basically, uh, a good partner will be thinking about uh, a balance between his self-interest and the group self-interest or the partnership self-interest. Uh, a good partner is someone who thinks about your interest as much as he think he's thinking about his interest. A good partner is someone who would come and advise you and tell you maybe you have you did not see this part. Maybe you could not see this part. A good partner will always be thinking how to push your efforts. Partner, a good partner will always be thinking how to bring the be a better person out of you. So that's a that's the uh, the partnership part, which is about. Uh, motives uh, and feelings and the first one is behavior so behavior is important people say okay if he's, if he's a good guy if he's acting in a way that he's caring about me if he's loving his behavior is not important no actually behavior is important because if you don't understand how your partner will behave in a particular situation and if he could not explain himself you, this will affect the trust so you, you should he should be doing things in a way that is predictable he should be a person that you can predict his behavior in order for you to be able to trust him that's about the first element was about uh, trust the second part a partner is someone who compliment you and someone who build on your strength and someone who actually can cover for some of your weaknesses and this is in business as much as in life if a man look for a woman because a woman is more caring a man is more is a stronger in a physically woman is weaker physically um, um, men can be let me say uh, sometimes uh, uh, can tolerate pressure some women cannot tolerate pressure men can be uh, men can uh, men have uh, let me say men can uh, men can create uh, some kind of kids and women can become pregnant so partnership is about uh, uh, coming together to do something greater, to setting up a family, which is a concept that is much bigger than an individual person. So if you always have been looking in a partner that can complement your qualities, that can make a better person out of you, that uh, has a lot of similarities with you. So it should not be very much, uh, my advice, he should not, it should not be very much different, but it should not be very much alike. It should be someone that is really alike, but who has also some qualities that can bring better, uh, better uh, partnership and better opportunities for this partnership. So this is the thing about, uh, this is the topic where we think about our similarities and our differences, our areas of common agreement and our areas of disagreement. You should not be looking after disagreement as differences and in differences it should be traits that bring positive contribution to the partner. And if we think about it in a social or business context, someone who's not very sociable, 
he would like to be, to have someone maybe who has more contact than him, but he would, might not have to have someone who's all the time is outside and all the time is outgoing, and he does he just want to spend his time with people, and the other person is lonely, so he does not he does not really uh, he does not enjoy that. But if he if two people who are somehow isolated marry each other, you will end up with a very limited social uh, contact. So, but if someone some person had has managed to bring more social relationship to the uh, to the uh, to the partnership. This is a good thing. If someone has managed to bring more thought to the partnership, this is good. If someone has managed to bring more motivation to the partnership, this is good. But you should not have you should not find this dramatic drastic contrast and drastic difference. So I always look for areas of similarities where we can always agree and build on and act in a normal way and areas of let me say. Uh, differences which can contribute positively to the partnership. You, sh you should not uh, find someone who's alcoholic and say he's different, or you should not find someone who's who's behaving in a negative way and say he's different. No, that's a, that, that's an absolute negative. You should find someone who's negative but, but who's different, but can bring a positive sum to the relationship. That was my talk for today, and I think we will limit our uh, talk to, uh, the, to the five minutes time frame because a lot of people uh, tend to find this uh, uh, this time is more convenient and they can keep uh, a good attention uh, span with such a time. And I think it's much better. It's much better for the internet medium, and I think it also can help me achieve uh, my goals much faster than before. So with that, we leave you uh, and uh, we'll wish you a great evening and we shall say salam.